Kingdom, a whole store full of robots. This is the KHR 3HV. He does some pretty fantastic stuff. He's gonna show us. Bows, <laughs> Japanese style. He also does push ups. <laughs> and he does leg lifts. He does all sorts of stuff. We also have a hexapod over there, of course, Leo. I mean, they're just robots galore. I'm in heaven. Heaven! Not only do they have entire stores dedicated to robots, but they also have cafes dedicated to them too. And not just any robots, this is the Gundam Cafe, smack dab in the middle of Akihabara with robots everywhere, from the walls to the decorations. Even the food is named after the popular series. While an entire robot cafe is cool, nothing could prepare me for this. You guys, I am so super excited. I basically just arrived in Tokyo like a couple of hours ago and I came straight here. We are at the uh, Takashiyama, and I apologize for butchering any of the names. I have my notes so I don't mispronounce anything, but I promise I will. Um, the department store and where they have the Geminoid F on display. This is the project of Hiroshi Ishiguro. He has been working on humanoid robots for quite a long time and I've been following his work so getting to see it in person is pretty incredible. The idea here with this display that runs until Valentine's Day is to be able to show what models may be in the future essentially. <laughs> Think about mannequins in display windows. They can't really move, they can't show you how clothes move on your body and ma models can't stand here all day long every day. So what if a uh, Geminoid F here, and F stands for female, were to be the one to show you what the clothes look like. So that's kind of the concept behind all of this. And um, I want to show you, you've probably seen a lot of press on this, but I want to show you exactly how she works. So if you were to look underneath, her, she actually has a power plug kind of in the back that's, uh, that's just, it's just a regular power plug. Um, up here, we have a camera that's watching all of the visitors that pass by all day long every day, and there are a lot of them. And it's working with the Connect sensor up there. And together, they're sensing when people get really close. So if I were to kind of get in her way, she might react to me. And so there, she has 65 different um, motions that she can go through and she might smile at you once she might frown at you and it's all kind of on a rotation basis so you can't force her to do one thing or another right now but i think it's really cool how she works and uh, she is very very humanoid and uh, that's there's so much more to it i could geek out all day long but that gives you an idea i am thrilled to be here and super excited to see her in person okay i'll stop geeking out loud let you guys get back to whatever you are doing thank you so much for joining me more from japan at geekbeat.tv i'm callie lewis bye